What's up, Dub Nation? Hello, YouTubers. This is Poor Man's Commish, your Warriors credentialed insider. And wow, it's been just a little over, what, a week and a half. Um, hopefully, I'll get this done before it's two weeks uh, since the Warriors lost to the Grizzlies. And I actually have a video coming up of what the Warriors did the week after uh, that heartbreaking loss. So that's around the corner, but right now I've got a report on this uh, Steph Curry news. He showed up in Dublin, Ohio to uh, attend the memorial on the PGA Tour over there in Muirfields Valley. Again, Dublin, Ohio, and he did a practice round with 2021 Masters winner Hideki Matsuyama. And this was the big clip in the morning, straight from PGA Tour. Wow. Cool. Play well, guys. Thank you. Have fun. Beauty. You can see how Matsuyama was in awe of Steph's tee shot. Not surprising. I mean, sometimes when our man Curry is uh, on his game, he is uh, very impressive to watch on the golf course. But I did some digging around like I'm supposed to do as sort of your investigative Warriors reporter. And uh, what I found out was that uh, Steph did a little interview with Channel 6 of Columbus, Ohio. And what did he say? Well, he finally, I mean, kind of made it official as close as you can make something official without making an official. He's not going to be a pro golfer after his career ends. Now, you never know, right? But let's just hear him out. I always appreciate folks, uh, celebrities who are not required to grant interviews, but do after 18 holes around Muirfield Village. Seven-time NBA All-Star Steph Curry must be good. He's got a sweet swing because golf is a difficult and trying game, and he left the village with a smile on his face. Steph Curry was the crowd pleaser, arousing the kind of Tiger-esque mania at least for a few minutes Wednesday. The 33-year-old Curry has a sweet swing and a love of this game. Could you see yourself doing this professionally after the game? No, I mean, I never say never to anything, but it, uh, after hopefully a long basketball career, I'll just be able to find you know, time to just play and enjoy myself. I'll try to find some competitive releases for sure, but... These guys are way too good. His day job with the Golden State Warriors ended a little early this season. Uh, seeing Jack's course and being with uh, some of the pros out here, it's a nice little consolation prize for basketball being done. So I think that pretty much is a nail in the coffin right there. I have speculated before, those of you who have followed me really closely, I haven't said this much, but I've always speculated that Steph would at least try to become a pro golfer after his uh, playing days are done in the NBA. But I don't know anymore. I mean, I was there when uh, he struggled at the web.com tour. I think he came in last, actually. And then uh, he also did not particularly play well until the last day at the uh, Lake Tahoe tournament, which, by the way, I might as well break some news. I have been told that Steph will be playing on July 9th through 11th over in Tahoe at the uh, American Century Championship, the one that he's uh, played in for a while, you know, the same one that Charles Barkley plays in. However, another source told me that it would be to be determined. So I'm trying to reach a third source to see what he says, and I need to get an update for you soon, but we'll just have to see on that. I, I'm, I'm thinking he does. Uh, just because the timing is right. Uh, you got the Olympics coming up, but I don't think the Olympic training schedule is is going to overlap too much. And and maybe, maybe it's just really determined by that because the Olympics will start in late July and run till early August. So there shouldn't be an overlap. So you figure two weeks before that for USA training camp, 
if Steph feels good enough to play for Team USA, and, and that hinges a lot on uh, his tailbone, which, uh, you know, we have some information on from Steve Kerr in the exit interviews. All right, so let's go back to the golf tournament today because I managed to dig up some other views. And so we've got Steph uh, teeing off here. So got him hanging out with a couple, uh, you know, pro golfers here, Wyndham Clark. And then we've also got Justin Thomas. Now check out Steph here in full Curry brand regalia. One thing I noticed is look at his jacket. It's, uh, you know, got the little, little puffiness in there. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's only on one side. It's only on the front. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of kind of reminds me of uh, like Dune. And finally, we have him signing autographs. And then meeting with the news reporters. And to top it all off, he got to meet the legendary Jack Nicholas, who designed this golf course, by the way. And so that's what I've got for you today. I mean, uh, luckily this was sort of a local channel. Luckily I had to dig for it and luckily it hasn't been aggregated yet. But yeah, Steph is not planning to try his uh, hand at pro golf. All right. So that's your report. Again, I've, I'm going to plan to do more and more of these as we go along especially as we're actually getting a lot of Warriors news every day. We have our Discord uh, app. So uh, on Discord, we're talking about the Warriors doing uh, game commentary every now and then just with uh, the playoffs and other teams. And uh, so if you're interested in that, you've got a little bit more time left before all the prices go up. Right now, you can join for $1 a month. Um, but in about two weeks uh, i'm in the middle of this month of june that price is going to go up to a standard five dollars a month to be part of what i like to call an erudite community of warriors thinkers and basically information gatherers and we're out there to stamp out the misinformation as well all right so that's all for me for today but uh plenty of stuff content for you there and i'll be back with you very soon thanks guys